What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a portrait illustration of Sasuke from Naruto. Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining me today. For today's drawing, we're gonna do something slightly different. We're gonna be turning the head towards a three quarter position. So he's looking over towards our right shoulder. So let's start by adding some guidelines to our page. We're gonna start by sketching a line coming down the center. Starting from the very top. I'm just gonna lightly work my way down towards the bottom using these short lines. Let's go back up to the top and draw another line going across from left to right. Now we're going to use these two lines to help us create a circle along the top of our page to define the size of the head. So from the center point, we're just going to move up towards the top of our circle, right about here. Let's measure this distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. And then we'll repeat that across this horizontal line. So measuring the distance from the center down towards the left and then down towards the right. Let's connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement along the top center of our page. And we'll come back and just erase most of this out after. Now I'm going to add another set of guidelines along the side of our circle. So with the left side coming down and then the right. And then because we're tilting the head forward, the eyes are going to sit along the bottom of our circle. So let's add another line going across. Now normally when we draw a portrait with the character facing forward, the center will be along this line. But because we're turning the head over towards the right, we're going to shift this over to right about here. In the center of our circle, it's going to sketch a line coming all the way down towards the bottom. And then from here, it's going to bend this up and then across towards the center of our circle, towards the top. Now at this stage, it's important to stay focused on the placement and proportions of the facial features before we get into the details. Now let's start with the eyes. Now this gap right here is gonna be in between the eyes. And let's move over towards the left, draw a short line coming down, move over towards the right and do the same thing. Now from these two points, it's gonna curl the brow, going up and then in towards the middle. Let's angle the eyebrows, start with the left side. It's gonna go up and across and do the same thing on the right, going up. Now the eyes are going to sit just underneath the eyebrow. Let's start up here. Start with a straight line going across. And goes down on the inside. And from the outside of the eye, curves down and then bend that in. Let's tuck the right eye in underneath a little bit further. So start with that straight line. Come down on the inside. Round up the bottom and come in. Now we're going to have the character looking back towards us. So on the left side, we're just going to draw a circle tucked in underneath the eyelid. And we can always come back and just readjust the placement later. On the right side, it's going to be along the inside edge, just tucking that in. Now in between the brow, we're just going to follow the edge of the nose coming down to right about here. Angle the nose coming up and then out like a V. Now we're going to move down and draw a short line going across the mouth. Now directly above the brow, we're going to add the edge of the headband. So we're going to start on the outside, curve this down in the middle, bend this across, and then up towards the outside. Now along the top, we're just going to bend this up in the opposite direction. We're going to go up and then out. Now I'm going to go back and add a little bit of shape and expression to the mouth. So we're just going to pull this down in the middle and come down towards the corners of the mouth. Step down, just draw a short line for the lower lip. Let's move down again. I'm just going to mark off the chin right about here. Now from here, I always like to work on the profile edge of the head. So we're going to start on the top, bend this around the eye, in towards the cheek. Now I'm just going to bend this in around the mouth and then come down towards the chin. Let's round out the chin. Now over on the left side, right here, draw a straight line coming down across the jawline. Bend this down and then in towards the chin. Now we're going to readjust this. Let's angle this up towards the ear area. Along the side, let's add a half circle for the ear. I just want to get the right size. Don't need to get too detailed. Now we want to layer the collar just on top of the head. So let's start on the left side. It's going to bend this around the jaw, come down underneath the mouth, and then back out. 
and then round this out and pull this back in underneath the head. Let's curl this back up in behind the head. Draw the back side of the collar coming down towards the shoulder. Now on the right side, we're just gonna bend this down and in. A little bit of detail across the shoulders. Draw the edge of the collar coming in. Now we're gonna go back and add some volume to the hair. Now the hair is gonna part across the center line. So let's start by curling the hair going around. Bring this around and in towards the left eye. Pull that up. Now to come around the outside of the eye, come down towards the cheek, and then back up. Let's add another strand coming down in behind the collar. Go across the ear and then up. Let's draw in the right side. So from that part, go around the headband, down, back up. Add another point. And a couple more going out towards the right. Now we're going to follow this seam going up. We just want to angle this up and out towards the left. It's going to come across towards the right. It's going to bend this out and then down along the side. Let's go to the left side of the head. We're just going to pull a couple more strands coming down in behind the ear and then back in. Add another one underneath. Now there's little spikes across the back of the head pulling these out. So I'm just gonna add some volume. Coming around, and then back in towards the head. Once we have a rough sketch in place, I'm gonna go back and clean this up by erasing some of these guidelines. So I'm just gonna take out the top of our circle and all that detail inside the hair. Now once we have our clean drawing in place, I'm going to go back and use this as a guide to help us layer on some more detail and refine the shapes. Now I'd like to start with the overlapping parts first, so with the hair bangs. we we'll start right in the middle, let's have that bang going up, that's going to redefine the shape of the hair. It's going to pull this down, and back in. Now along this part, it's going to add a little bit of texture going up and then out towards the sides. Also do the same thing across the right side. Adding some texture. Now I'm just going to add those extra bangs coming down. So the long one going across the cheek. Now I'm just going to add that metal plate in the center. I'm just going to layer the eyebrow and underneath the headband, add a little bit of thickness, and just darken up the inside. Just add a couple folds in between the brow. And go back and just layer in the eyes. I'm just going to add a little bit of detail inside the iris with the pupils.
go back and add that symbol in the center of that metal plate. So we start with a circle and start detailing going around. And go back and just darken that up. Now we're just going to use this volume to help us add some more spikes. So we start on the left side, we start to curl these spikes going out, start to bend this up, go back up to the top, I'm just going to add some more spikes in between. And then we'll go back and clean up our drawing one final time before we add more detail and shape. Now I'm going to switch to my thicker pencil. This is my 0.9 millimeter pencil. It's going to darken up our contrast. Now I'm just adding a little bit of weight along the bottom edge, just sort of where the shadows would sit, just to help give our drawing some weight. Start with that overlapping part in the hair first. Now we want to darken up the eyelids along the top, a little bit thicker, and also along the side.
And once we finish tracing on all the contours, we're gonna add some shadows. Now I'm gonna move to the side edge of my two millimeter pencil. Now it's easy to get carried away with the shading. So we're just gonna go a little bit lighter. So it's gonna darken up the inside of the hood. The collar, going all the way around. And we're gonna add a little metallic finish to that metal plate. So we're gonna start from the top. It's gonna to lightly work our way down. Just adding a little bit of reflection on the left side and then on the right. Just add a little bit of shadow just underneath the eyelid, coming down and then fading that out. Now the nose is gonna cast a little bit of shadow coming down towards the mouth. Now with the light source, we're just imagining that the light's coming from the top of our character coming down, so the shadows will sit along the bottom edge. I'm just going to darken up the inside of that headband going around that metal plate. Just add a little bit of shading along the inside edge of the hair on the right side. Also on the left. Now, as we get near the end, it's going to tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Sasuke from Naruto. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.